Now at five, we've learned today that a five-year-old boy found unresponsive in a Milwaukee home died from a fentanyl overdose. His mother is in police custody, expected to be charged in the coming days. This latest overdose death is proof of a growing concern. Babies and children being exposed to fentanyl. These kids shouldn't be coming in contact with these things. Sarah Schreiber leads the toxicology lab at the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office, which in the past 16 months has recorded at least six child deaths from fentanyl overdoses. Three of those victims were just one year old. These substances become toxic, if not fatal to them, at very, very small concentrations because of their potency. Schreiber says before 2019, most child overdose deaths in Milwaukee County were tied to prescription medications. But since 2019, every child overdose death except one has been tied to illegal drugs. An exact replication of the prevalence of these drugs within our communities. So many people think, you know, that isn't going to happen to me or that doesn't apply to me. Michelle Jaskolski of Cudahy works with the Addiction Policy Forum. Her two sons battled drug addiction for years, but survived and recovered. She's pushing for everyone, especially parents battling drug addiction, to own a medication lockbox. Box. Enough to keep a child out of it and out of harm's way. It's so easily preventable that if, you know, if that's the one small thing you can do to keep someone safe, it's definitely worth a little bit of extra effort. She says you can get one for free or very cheap, along with naloxone, the medication that can rapidly reverse an opioid overdose. There are a lot of organizations in the city that will give it to you for free. I know the AIDS Resource Center does, um, Team Havoc has free ones. This is important. She says you can also get medication lockboxes and naloxone or Narcan at most area health departments and pharmacies.